Uh, please don't mind my housemate. He's playing COD in the background. Okay, so um, If you've been living under a rock, which I assume would be much better than living anywhere in the world right now We are deep in a global pandemic here in Australia We are in our second wave, especially here in Melbourne As of three days ago, we are back into our second lockdown for six weeks my heart breaks for this city just knowing its liveliness and its culture and basically what this city is and just to have it all shut down for another six weeks is very saddening today i am going to be making me and my housemate a fabric mask my housemate did go to the pharmacy yesterday to ask about masks at the moment they're very in demand but I've decided that since I do have a sewing machine that I bought a couple of months ago and I haven't really touched it since I tried making something and failed miserably uh, I'm going to be making a mask today as far as fabrics go I think I'm pretty okay I've got a lot of clothes and a lot of um, a lot of old clothes and pants and things that I can sort of hack up and make the masks out of I just need to go get some elastic Masks seem pretty easy. I've looked at some YouTube videos, so I don't think it should be too hard, but um, I've thought that about a lot of other projects I tried to undertake with this sewing machine and they didn't really work out, so uh, hmm. We'll see how this goes. So right now I'm just gonna make my way to the shops to get some hair ties and then we can Get going. Unfortunately, I don't really have any mask I can wear to the shops. Actually, is this too much? Everything's okay. Everything is going to be fine. Okay, let's go. So I just went to the shops and I bought myself some elastics. I ended up buying this pack of headbands they're very soft they're quite stretchy i think i'd be able to get like i'd be able to make two masks out of one so i can make around about eight masks if this is a success i'm excited let's see how this goes so instead of getting a pattern from the internet i decided to make my own i did two measurements one from the middle of my nose down to under my chin and then the same place on my nose across to the base of my ear and I just used those two measurements to guide a pattern that I drew for myself it sort of resembled a little bit like an axe head and then I just cut that out and then I found one of my ex's old shirts and decided to cut out pieces of fabric from it I grabbed my pattern and I just pinned the pattern onto the fabric and started to cut it out. I did do a half centimeter seam allowance, which probably isn't enough, but decided to live dangerously. And then I also cut out two other pieces from a thicker denim that'll be on the outside of my mask. So then I just took those pieces and I flipped them so that they were right sides facing each other. And then I pinned across the curved area as this is going to be our first seam. It's basically going to be the seam that joins the two uh, pieces together and that's going to be what covers our face.
So once that's done, I just cut a couple of little incisions around the seam, making sure not to actually cut what we just sewed, just so that when we flip these pieces inside out, you actually have a nice curved seam instead of the fabric bunching up together. And then I just slipped them in together like this, right sides facing each other, and then pinned the top and the bottom of the mask. And we're going to be sewing both of these separately, leaving both of the sides open. So once that's done, I just pulled it inside out, all of the open seams on the inside, and then I just ironed that. On the sides, I flipped in the fabric, closing it up with a half centimeter seam. And then I grabbed my headbands, I used a just put it on, put the mask on my face to measure how much I actually needed and then cut it and then I just pinned those into that folded seam and then what we're going to be doing is sewing across on the sides here but also all around of the mask just to finish it off and make it a little bit more sturdy And this is the finished product of my mask. As you can see, I went for the contrast stitch. Uh, a little bit wonky, but I intend to paint these masks to make them a little bit more interesting. So I figured you wouldn't really be paying attention to the seam. And I also ended up making a couple of masks for my friends. So I just cut out a couple more of my exes, flannel shirts, and a couple of his jeans as well. And this is the finished product. So the masks are reversible. So this is the first mask I made, but inside out. So I talk about this later on in my video about how I think the mask is a very symbolic piece of clothing of 2020 with everything that has happened. Uh, and I do reference the Black Lives Matter movement, and that was the inspiration for this first painted design. It says, shut up and listen, with a sort of tattoo gothic graffiti font. I did it in a red with a bit of shading and then just outlined it in a nice silver metallic paint just to make the letters pop. And then on the opposite side, I did paint Black Lives Matter, but just with a nice warm yellow in a sort of graffiti tag design. Did a couple of drips and a little bit of a green backing. I didn't want to do anything too detailed because the checkered fabric was already pretty crazy enough. And any detail, I think, just would have been drowned out by all of the color. So I just did a basic design. So I made a, another mask, um, one side flannelette and one side denim, and I decided to hop away from words and just do a picture on this one. As you can see, I went for a snake because I thought that the scales would look really cool. I just did the snake in a gold and a pink metallic color and just outlined it with a dark blue metallic color. And then on the other side of that mask, I decided to paint one of my favorite memes. Uh, this is a meme that I think reflects 2020 as well. It's probably a meme I've been feeling the most this year. 
and that's the this is fine meme of the dog sitting in a room full of fire. I feel like this is exactly how I'm feeling, probably how the whole world is feeling, so I figured I would express that on this piece of face cloth that I'm going to be wearing a lot more often now. As you can see, this is the finished product. I think the Black Lives Matter one turned out really well. I think you could do a lot of basic sort of graffiti tags on a fabric that's pretty crazy like that. The snake one was really good as well. I just wanted to paint different designs just to showcase, I guess, just the different aesthetics that you could do, whether that is just a picture, whether it's a message, or whether it's just a pattern. So it's a couple of days later and I've just finished, I finished my masks. So I made these from scratch and then I also uh, painted some designs on them. Uh, they are reversible, which works out really well. I think this project in itself was quite interesting uh, just because I feel like just in regards to art and fashion and I guess just trying to relate it to the world and culture and this piece of fabric that we put over our put over the bottom half of our face is quite symbolic of 2020 in many different regards especially in Australia because I feel like there's been a lot of events happening that, ha that have happened this year that have impacted society and communities and a lot of it relate back to this simple piece of clothing essentially. Everybody heard about the Australian bushfires that happened in January. There was a photograph that went viral of a little girl wearing a mask on a boat because she in the middle, I don't know if she was in the ocean or on a lake, but and I think that picture sort of expressed obviously the devastation that the Australian bushfires had and even before we were wearing masks for the pandemic, we were also wearing masks to protect ourselves from the smoke from all the bushfires and not only people in areas where the bushfires were quite rampant, but also in areas like Melbourne. There were a couple of days in January when we got a lot of uh, of the smoke come down. And I remember going out on one of these afternoons and the, ske the sky was like a hazy orange. I remember having to wear a mask for the first couple of weeks of January just because there were times where I'd actually go out and the pollution was really bad and the next couple of weeks I had like this, this sort of cough which I assumed would have been from inhaling all of all of the pollutions and the smoke in the air so I wore a mask for that and the most obvious reason for wearing a mask in 2020 also has been the pandemic I don't really think I need to explain <laughs> that obviously it's been recommended to wear masks when you're out in the public sort of protect against uh, transmission, especially out in public, on public transport. And I unknowingly made this video a week before the premiere announced that face masks would be compulsory anywhere in public in the Melbourne metropolitan area. And then the other thing as well is the whole Black Lives Matter movement in that I feel like this movement has really pushed forward a lot of experiences of black lives whether that's in america whether that's in australia and the indigenous people uh whether that's it's it's just voicing black life experience and i think that a mask is also very symbolic from that movement in a way that it has taught us to or especially people of privilege to stop and to listen 
whoever you are, like, in regards to whatever privilege that you have, it's being able to stop, not talk about that, or not put your own spin on it, and then listen to minorities that have been silenced through decades and decades. That was actually one of the reasons in one of the designs that I did, uh, this gothic... This is like a gothic tattoo script. Yeah, I think I think that's quite a powerful message as well. And on the other side of that mask, I also did a sort of um, graffiti, drip graffiti, Black Lives Matter. Um, so yeah, that's why I think 2020, year of the mask. And funnily enough, we're only, <laughs> we're only halfway through. So who knows what else this year has to throw at us. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that it brought you joy, especially in a time like now. <laughs> uh, now that I'm in lockdown, I feel like I might be uploading videos more frequently. So I guess be prepared for the prospect of that. Otherwise, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye.